to show you guys what I'm putting. I'm painting all the fences in Tudor black. Taking them off, painting them, giving them two coats. I'm going to be doing all the fences all the way down. As you can see, I've started taking them off. And they're going to be going all the way down before I get the ones out of the pond first. See how it looks. To be honest with you, I think I'm kind of tempted to paint the box also in black as well. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in your comments if I should paint this box in black. Yep. Okay, we've got all the fences done from all the way there, pretty much to there. I'm going to call it quits for today, because I'd like to get the lights screwed back on and put some ornaments back into place, but there is still two, four, six, six panels to do and we'll just carry on with those tomorrow but it's looking really nice and stylish anyway that's that back out in the garden finishing off the fences Few more to go and then we should all be complete this is the second day of painting them just took a little while got the wife to help me as well so they can be done yep looking really really nice really impressed Let me know what you guys think. And if we should also paint this box in black, you guys can let me know in your comments. to clean again second time today and that's what's happening should have installed the skimmer when I built the pond should have installed two one where the Buddha is and possibly one exactly on the second tile down but hey it is what it is. Still looking good. Fish are hungry. Got a lot of work to do still at the top end of the garden. Gonna get around to that too. Gonna be building a bog right over here. Built a bog, or possibly here, making it run straight into the pond. Run out of paint. Need to go to the store to grab some more paint. I've literally used 10 litres now. Yeah, and we're at this stage. Had to do a couple of purchases. I also run out of fence paint, so I had to get that as well. Um, what did we get today? Right, we got some Pure filter start gel from Evolution Aqua, which I put in, as I mentioned, um, I put in 2.5 litres of this um, just over a week ago, used a whole bottle of it, 
and I also use an Evolution Aqua Pond Bomb Gel in with that as well which I've had a little bit of a nitrate problem and that seems to have helped quite a bit um, I found this stuff in the store um, Aqua Balance Balls um, believe it's from Aqua Source, another good company um, this one says on here also sludge control so we'll remove some of the sludge at the bottom of the pond so we'll give this one a go not used that before interested to see if that's going to work good um, got a bit of foam building up on my pond um, from all the protein so I thought I'll give this stuff a go uh, from NTL Labs and basically what it's supposed to do is on the back of the instructions which I've read um, it will release all the um, protein wastes from um, the bubbles and it will also maintain correct pH balance so if I haven't explained that properly to yourselves um, the instructions are on the back I'm sure if you guys read at that you'll understand and um, I'm also doing a top up change today. Fridays I do a water change. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of chlorine remover as well, um, just to help it uh, remove if anything else is in the water, um, cause we have all other bits and bobs in the water as well. And um, my water is topping up now. Um, done the filter change. Uh, filter clean sorry today on the nexus already um changed it once already on the skimmer as well so yeah that's that and going to be doing a water test today this is my test kit that i've been using um this is not new i didn't purchase this i've had this for a few months now um very handy does a bunch of tests on there for koi it's like a professional kit purchased this from amazon um I think it was 80 quid, 80 quid, 90 quid, something like that. Can't quite remember, but um, sure if you go onto Amazon, uh, you can find it on there. Yeah. And also pop to B&Q, because I ran out of uh, fence paint. Um, on this, it says one coat of fence, uh, one coat to paint, um, but I did paint the three panels that are behind the pond twice and the rest have been painted um, one coat and it looks fantastic as I've shown in the videos to yourselves. Yeah, so we're going to be adding some gel in there, possibly use half of it. I'm going to put 20 litres. My pond is um, 20,000 litres. So I'm going to be using pretty much all of this. This is treats 30,000 litres of pond. Of water sorry so yeah okay that's that so let's just crack on with it all what a beautiful day today nice and sunny everyone should be out in their gardens oops what a lovely day got the sun beaming right into my pond gonna have to build a roof for that i believe just got the, um, the gel stuff to put in first. Let's get the uh, pure filter gel in there. I've switched off the um, biological side as I pour it in. Okay. Side. Okay. I think a bit more here. Okay. And that feels about half. Yep, that's about half. Switch back on the fire edge of here. Side. That was very nice. So I'm just, um, just switching on the air, uh, air pump back on. 
at the biological site. The pond is topping up already through the dechlorinator. What I might do is I might actually take this pipe off and get this pipe extended into the mechanical side so it can filter through there and then go into the biological side and back into the pond. Yep. Uh, that's what we're doing today. All right. All right, we've got the gel in. Let's just pop this down here. And let's put these aqua source, aqua balance balls in. So we're going to use pretty much all of this, pop this into there, and also into the other side. every day so we got all the fences done finally looking really nice really sharp sorry about the weed there I've been at it today again, non-stop, painting, pulling out the weeds, tidying up, putting things into place, treating the pond. Most of all my maples are burnt from the sun. So yeah, painted up the fences, finished up the fences, treated the pond with biological stuff. And now I can go indoors and put my feet up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video again. I hope some parts were useful. It's not going to be much useful stuff painting the fences. But showing you guys what I've been doing. How it's looking around the, the pond and the garden itself. So if you like this video please give us a thumbs up uh, if you can subscribe to the channel that'd be great if you didn't like the video you can still give us a thumbs down if you'd like to hit the notification button so when I make all future videos 
and upload them, you guys can get notified and see how the pond's getting on and the garden and the fishies. Thank you for watching. All be safe and take care.